Okay, this program is designed for elite coaches, for people that work in high performance environments and, and people that look after talent development programs in governing bodies or professional sports. So the type of people that we get are uh, fairly high profile coaches uh, from all over the country, pretty much. Typically what happens is um, people that work in performance and, and those that work in talent pathways, they end up uh, being stuck in a little bubble inside their own little club or the governing body and they never really get outside the comfort zone. And I think one of the things that we do on this program is we challenge that. We, we're always taking them outside the comfort zone, getting them to speak to other sports, other, other professionals within the industry, and really check and challenge what they're doing on a daily basis. And we get out there into their practice world as well and so just ask some real basic questions about you know, what you're doing that for. And most of the time the response is, uh, we've just always done it that way. So uh, we are uh, taking some responsibility for uh, massively changing the way that people think and the way that people practice in, in the real world of coaching. Most people that join the course are already working in, in, in sport, you know, they're already employed. So from an employability point of view, it doesn't necessarily add value in terms of them going on and getting another job, but we've certainly seen signs of people that have come on the programme that have been promoted into higher level positions. A good example of that is with the uh, GB Hockey um, that we worked, we've been working with for the past four years. Um, now, if you look at the makeup of the, the two uh, senior men's and women's programmes, they're now made up exclusively of, of the graduates from this program as head coaches and assistant coaches. So you can now see in governing bodies and in professional clubs that the people that have gone through this program are now in charge of programs or in charge of uh, you know, uh, elite programs. One thing in terms of the employability agenda is that uh, it relates partly to the, um, they get stuck in their own little world and their own little bubble. And I think one of the things that this program does is it gets them thinking about things that they don't currently do, you know, the blind spots in their day job. And from that point of view, it does enhance their, the programs that they're running and the programs that they offer. And I think from that standpoint, it makes them a much more well-rounded coach. So in terms of consolidating the position that they're in, you know, it's certainly improving their employability and keeping them in jobs longer. These coaches that come on the program, typically they're, they're either working in the domestic program or they're working at international level, so they do get to travel. And, and one of the big things that we do, particularly some of the assignments, we do link to some of the international squads that they're working with. So, for example, you know, if we look at something like rugby league, we've got the, uh, the, the head coach for England rugby league on the program, Steve McNamara, and he's been working um, on the Australian, uh, the NRL, to try and identify what the differences are between the two. So, in terms of the internationalisation agenda, uh, we're constantly looking at other systems and looking at other, uh, you know, other priorities around the world that will hopefully provide us with that golden ticket to make us the best in the world and not the, not the opposition. Uh, in terms of travelling around the world, the, the, the coaches that come on this programme typically travel all the time. Uh, fortunately, it's, it doesn't have to be through the university, but we do refer quite heavily to, uh, to international experiences that most of these coaches have regularly. This programme is one of the flagship programmes within the Institute of Coaching and Performance, which sits within, uh, within UCLAN. Um, we work very closely with the governing bodies of the coaches that come on this program and, I, and we're now in a situation where we're running research programs for the governing bodies and for the professional clubs. So we've now got a very strong link between the program and the research and knowledge transfer activities that we currently do within the, pro within, uh, the Institute of Coaching and Performance. Uh, some great examples where um, people that have come on the program that have had some really good applied questions that they wanted answers to, that there wasn't an answer out there and that stimulated those people who graduated to go on and do further research and, and, and uh, you know we've now got people on the books that are doing professional doctorates and uh, master's programs on top of the postgrad diploma that they've been on. Well first and foremost the population that you're um, sat with are all elite coaches and are probably all in the same boat coming from different sports so a couple of things to highlight there is that everybody's working at a high level and there's a massive amount of cross-pollination of ideas across sports which is really refreshing for these coaches that normally work in a very ego oriented climate. They don't get the opportunity to really share ideas and, and, uh, and, and discuss ways of improving things. Well on this one it's an opportunity for them to come together, really share practice and I'm constantly challenging that practice. Uh, so they walk away after every single session that they have scratching their heads and looking at ways in which they can improve it. One of the other big things that we do on the programme is we have a mentoring programme so they'll come, they'll get lots of information, they'll have lots of discussions with other people from different sports and then we go back into their world and, and, and into their practice and really interrogate and get them to start challenging some of the things that we have been discussing to make real behavioural change in terms of the way that they coach. If anybody uh, is interested in the programme then the uh, recommendation will be to get in touch and we can talk through the programme and identify whether this programme is right for you 
also it's worth contacting your governing body to find out whether they are uh, happy for you to come onto this programme and we'll work with the governing bodies to make sure you have a, a great experience on the programme.